Remember shopping with your parents when you were a kid? You'd pick out some nutritional snacks, something healthy for dinner, and maybe a fun treat. Shopping used to be so simple and fun. What happened? Well, grocery shopping got complicated. You have to juggle rewards cards, coupons, and payment methods. To manage your health, you have researched product nutrition like a PhD in food science. On top of all of it, you must bring order to your refrigerator's chaos of new products, old foods, expired snacks, and recalled items. No wonder shopping was making you miserable. But all the shopping stress is over. Let's take care of the shopping management while you relax and enjoy the fun parts. Here are a few highlights and tips on how to use these benefits. Name of the recipe in the search box and dashboard. Select search recipe from the options. A list of recipes will be shown in the next screen. Click on the filter screen to customize the recipe by diet type, nutrition, ingredients and ingredients to avoid. Once a recipe is selected, the cooking method, ingredients and nutrition is provided. The app can read the cooking method as well. The selected recipe and calorie could be added to the calendar or meal planner for a particular day to track daily consumption or plan ahead for up to 30 days. of the products in the search box and dashboard. Select search products from the options. A list of products will be shown in the next screen. The product filter helps to filter products based on ingredients to avoid a nutrition. Once a product is identified, the detail page shows the nutrition and ingredient information is available. Ingredient information is classified based on potential source or use. If the information is not available, then add the ingredient image, as shown in next instruction, for classification. The identified item should be added to the list so that the item could be searched for purchase from the list. The selected product and calorie could be added to the calendar or meal planner for a particular day to track daily consumption or plan ahead for up to 30 days. Different types of barcodes and QR codes could be also scanned for product information.
Users can scan, search or add products to see the ingredient classification for potential use or source. Users will be able to see the classification with potential use or source of ingredients based on the ingredient disclosed on the package. The ingredients classification gets done for most of the products. When missing, the information can be obtained by adding an image of the ingredients section of the product. Use the crop feature to get the exact region of the ingredient for better information. By clicking on user defined ingredient warning, users can select ingredients to be alerted with red font. lists section in dashboard to create and manage any kind of list items could be added to my list from master list product list search or add item bar my favorites and footprints section items could be selected by doing a long press on the item and could be deleted or added to a label when an item is added to the list the arrow next to the item should be clicked to search for the item the generic item name will be replaced with a specific brand product if a particular product is selected. The list could show a tag icon and a circular icon for each item. The tag icon shows the number of labels in which the item belongs. The circular icon is for any related coupon for the item being present in wallet. for lists could be created by clicking the three dots on the top right corner of the list screen. Once a label is created then an item could be added to the label. The labels appear in the My List drop-down. Items are added by doing a long press of the item. One item could have more than one label. The tag icon next, left side, to item will show the number of labels associated with the list item. Items could be filtered by labels by selecting the label name from the My List drop-down. Labels could be shared with other app users by clicking Manage Labels. 
items could be deleted from labels individually. When an item is deleted from my list, then the item is deleted from all the related labels for the item. will be added to the buy section when it is added the first time. While shopping, when an item is bought, the checkbox next to the item in buy section should be checked. This will change the row to gray color for the next 12 hours. The item will be recorded in the bought item list with a date stamp. Studio icon to access the print functionality of the app. Users can print images on their own cloud printer or at a Walgreens store in US. Select the required print type for printing or just select any photo type to access the photos. Enlarge the image by clicking on the photo. Select the images for printing by clicking on the print icon on the image and follow the prompts. Select up to 5 images and let the smart photo feature help in identifying the best image from most happy to least. Users can select photos on the phone and from their Google Drives. Users can use the Cloud Print to print the photos to their own printer or in store. For using the Cloud Print, users should be able to map their printer to the cloud. footprints icon on the dashboard. Search the item for which storage tips are required. Click the category in which the item belong and click the most appropriate item. A pop-up screen with storage criteria for pantry, refrigeration and freezer will be displayed.
Recalls information can be notified to user by adding the product to a particular receipt. The app will automatically check if there is any recall in the last 30 days, for an item which was part of any receipt in the last 90 days. Product recalls search could be done historically. The recall information is sourced from U.S. Food and Drug Administration and Consumer Product Safety Commission. wallet from dashboard and then click the plus sign on header and select the item to add and follow the prompts. Click on wallet and enter the loyalty card name on the topmost search bar in the header. This will show the products in the wallet specific to the loyalty card. If the top search bar is left all in the second search bar is used to search for milk, example, then the result will show the receipts from different stores from which milk was bought, warranties related to the milk and any coupons related to milk. The wallet section could be used by users to track product ingredients and nutrition that were bought by users for each receipt by clicking on the plus in the receipt details screen. Users can also track their purchase history and the expenses by adding the receipts and entering the amount value. Gift cards balance amounts can be also tracked by entering the expense for each use. Users can also click on the items to share by doing a long press. Click on the three dots on the header and select share to share the items with another app user.
will see the expirations alerts for products tracked in wallet section for receipts, coupons, gift cards, warranties as applicable in the alerts section. Users will be able to track the calorie intake by clicking on the calendar icon along with the details of products or recipes. Users can also add the items consumed by directly clicking on the date on the calendar. Users can also create meal plans for the next 30 days from current date. The chart on dashboard will show the total calories and expenses for a month tracked for the last 12 months. The expenses are tracked based on the amount value of receipts added in the wallet. bot can respond to frequently asked questions. It can be accessed by clicking on the icon on the top right corner of dashboard.